So yet another visit from our friend Amazon Claus. I have the Shars 7-piece half-inch by half-inch shank turning tool set. Get this out of the way. Nice little, nice little set of turning tools. We have uh, an 80 degree. We have 55 degree. We have uh, both right and left hand cutting tools. We have a neutral for doing profiling. We have a trigon style or a W shape insert threading tool and cutoff tool. The one downside, well, two downsides. Uh, one downside of this set is that each of these tools are way too long to fit in the turret of my Emco, but I knew that out of the gate. This set's only like a hundred bucks. I think it was $108 last time I checked. The other caveat to this is the cutoff tool does not fit. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use my CNC mill once that's up and running to make three extension or three or four extension blocks. Eh, make them four because I have an eight position turret and so it'll basically the block will hold the turning tool and then the block will sit inside of the turret so it sticks the tool out past the actual casting itself I'll show you so right now as it sits if I put this in number one it's going to stick out six miles from where it really should but even if I were to trim it down it would still be way 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 too long and it would hit into here so again make a block that sits inside of here steps everything out with a cutaway and then the tool will sit inside of the cutaway like that so that when it rotates around it clears here and then everything will be hunky-dory another thing that i did get where are they i did purchase oh where the hell did i leave those do 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 I got these ER-16, a little on the big side, but I got ER-16 collet adapters from eBay. These will work out fine, but you can see that there's a huge difference between the distance from the nut and the distance of the turret. So with the turning tool in place, yeah, it's all fine and dandy, but with this thing in the way, it wants to get eaten by Mr. Chuck or whack into sheet metal. So the extension blocks will do me some good there as well. When I make the design for the extension block, I have to take into consideration the diameter here and make sure that everything clears. I'm also gonna get some uh, ER11s, which are a little shorter. I do have an ER8 extension, but it's a half inch shank. These are all 10 millimeter. So I was able to find these again on flea bay. You got some Chinesium ER-16 collets, both uh, inch and metric size. They seem to be okay. I mean, for what I'm going to be using it for, I'm not making super critical rocket parts or anything like that. So as long as as long as they can drill a hole, that's really all that matters to me. So getting back to really need to clean this place up. Getting back to here. Like I said, the tools themselves, I have to trim the shanks down about half the size of what they are. The extension blocks will help with the clearance for the cutoff tool. Everything else should be pretty much good to go. Um, and then the other things that I got, well, pack of inserts, but the pack of inserts came with these. Boring bar set hard to do with one hand, but let me pull one of these out for you. We have this boring bar set, different size diameters. 
another Amazon special. This uh, four-piece set was like 35 bucks, 37 bucks. And they're all metric size. So we got a uh, we got 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 7 millimeter, and 6 millimeter boring bars, all in this super super long length. But again, that's fine. Trim down to what I need. I'm used to doing that, even with the the more expensive stuff. So we got turning tools. We got boring tools. Once I make blocks, I'll be able to cut off. And considering the price, we get a little bit of uh, yellow painted Chinesium carbide wannabes. If these are half as good as decent grade carbide, the 10 pack alone is worth the 35 bucks I spent on the whole set. Um, I will leave affiliate links to both of these in case anybody's interested. The uh, ER collet set as well. Again, the uh, Pallet adapters are from Fleabay, so can't really affiliate link you to those, but I can leave those in the description as well. I just won't make eight cents on it. I am going to do a quickie test just to check the validity of these things, and we'll see uh, see how that goes. So this will be a little tricky to do with my phone in my hand, so let me put you on hold and we will get right back but right here we can see virgin territory so we'll see how she uh how she does on both this and one of the shars tools to see if these are hardened in any way shape or form yeah so just like i figured they're not they're not hard so they're they're relatively soft material but what do you expect you know what, what do you you're not getting top top quality stuff same thing with boring bar here you can see it just come on work with me here you can see the the file just cut right into it so they're not hard I mean, they're they're decent but they're not you know the end all be all of turning tools what do you expect to get again you, <laughs> you get boring bars for the price of a pack of inserts so um but that also being said I don't expect to do any kind of heavy hogging with the machine, and these little tiny inserts don't really lend themselves to doing that type of work anyway. This is all just, you know, fine little detail work. So no big deal on that. On that, uh, but we will, um, we'll see how these things go. I mean, the nice thing about them being that soft is that I know I can pretty much whack through them with a hacksaw if I needed to, to trim them down. Once those are done, I need to figure a way to get some sleeves made up for the smaller boring bar sizes. Um, I might be able to make them in the machine and then just pop a couple holes, uh, holes through them with the, with the mill or with the drill press or what have you. Or I can just see if I can phone in a favor because I just need, I really need you know, a couple of sleeves for the different diameter sizes. I can get by with a 10 millimeter boring bar for a lot of stuff, but making smaller parts with smaller bores, going to need smaller boring bars. So um, again, I will leave all of the information on these tools in the descriptions. Stay tuned because once I get these things whacked down and I pop them into a home, I will be doing some base testing of my machine. Finally, finally. Still need to... I still need to make my operator panel, but I got a Lensi VFD tuning panel so I can dial in my VFD a little bit better. And I've got some... I got some Linux CNC tutorials that I have to button up, and once I get once I get the VFD tuned up, I want to go over if there's uh, any kind of tuning procedures that we can go through in Linux CNC as far as really dialing it in because this machine does have it does have the uh, encoder for threading. 
So it's got a speed and it's got an index encoder pulse. So the index pulse will synchronize the z-axis for threading and then the speed pulse will adapt the feed rate of the turret for the actual cutting of the thread. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.